Hi everybody, this is Dino Chris with Prehistoric Facts. This is a QA episode. And so let's actually get started, shall we? So Lootzilla. So you got a couple questions for me. Who would win? Dimetrodon or Black Cayman? And so Dimetrodon, a Permian uh synapsid, uh that of course like it lived in the Permian. And then of course Black Cayman, a alligator relative that is found in South America, and it's of course the largest member of the alligator family uh currently living today. And so uh, Dimetrodon is not an aquatic creature, even though that there's some uh, uh, paleontologists that believe that it probably did, did feast on some fish and amphibians, uh, but it could probably feed on anything, really, uh, in terms of meat. Uh, black caiman, I mean, like, they're, they've they been known to, like, ca like catch fish, they can also catch crustaceans, they also uh, uh, catch, like, uh, uh, capybara, and even they can actually take down certain other types of animals too. And so, black caiman are ambush predators. And so, I would probably say in this case, I'd go with black caiman because black caiman is going to have the better muscle power, the bigger, the better bite force uh, in that case. But like, if it was on land, then you could probably make the case that maybe Demetrodon could actually have the advantage in that one. But if it's near water, uh, and like say the black caiman had to ambush out of the water then like yeah I'd probably say black caiman but black caiman I'd probably pick on that one if it was just like in uh, water type of setting uh, uh, scenario and your other one who would win North Nothosaurus the saltwater crocodile so Nothosaurus is a type of marine reptile that lived in the Triassic period uh, and then you actually have the saltwater crocodile a crocodile that's mostly found in northern Australia and also found in some parts of uh of like an Indonesia and so where you actually go with this one is that uh, I'd probably say the saltwater crocodile wins this one because better bite force well armored and and so I'd probably say one bite that Nothosaurus is done for. Nothosaurus is not designed to actually take on uh, something that is like uh, uh, a saltwater crocodile because Nothosaurus they only ma ma managed only to catch like uh, like fish and squid and uh, some small crustaceans whereas the saltwater crocodile they're meant to take down large prey not only just large fish but they can also take 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 down like pigs they can take down kangaroos they can even take down uh, like even like a, a something that would be the size of a deer and so, yeah, that would actually be the case for that one. And I'd probably say that, yeah, the saltwater crocodile would win that one. All right, Alex, your question is, I noticed that recently that it what it has been 66 million years ago instead of 65 million years ago for the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs. Why did it change to 66 million years instead of 65 million years ago for the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs? That's a good question, Alex. Uh, so reasons why... Uh, that changed in the geologic time scale uh, is because of radioactive dating. And so the advancements of radioactive dating, now keep in mind, this is not carbon dating. Carbon dating is only for is only used for uh, like uh, dating things that are closer to this time. And to current to closer to our like today. So like you can use carbon dating for like anything that actually uh, dates back to like say 1,000 to even like uh, like uh, close to 10,000 years. Whereas like say a radioactive dating, you could go even further past that. But the thing is, is that with radioactive dating, you only get a certain time range uh, that you're gonna get. And so with like the with the radioactive dating, uh, the geochemists uh, pretty much does that do this type of work. The geochemists uh, look at the certain types of elements that are in the rock and they actually look at the ones that are like uh, shown to be like set in that particular part of time. And so for a long time it was actually thought that dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. But now it's actually into 66 million years ago. So the reasons why is because of radioactive dating. And so the advancements of radioactive dating and uh, they use that type of element. Uh, they use a ter certain type of element to actually look for uh, that, like the oldest type of 
of uh, element that was actually deposited uh, in that particular kind of time. And so, yeah, that, that's the reason why that it changed. All right, Jody, your question is, what are my thoughts on La Brea getting a second season? Uh, I've only seen a few episodes of the first season. I know some paleontologists were, I know some like paleo fans were really excited about it. Like we get to see like some ice age creatures that were around uh, in Los Angeles uh, around 10,000, around say uh, 10, like 10,000 to 12,000 to 15,000 years ago. But the thing is, is that they didn't really show that much of those types of creatures. Like they showed a mammoth, they showed a saber toothed cat and they sort of ground, ground sloth, but they didn't show that much else. And so that really kind of did uh, feel like it was a letdown for a lot of people. But like if they did, if they're, if the, if it is true that they are getting a second season, then like maybe it was good enough for NBC to continue uh, the show. But, uh, but I don't know. I mean, like I've only seen like two or three episodes of the first season. I thought it was like, decent and and all that but like it would be like the cgi was not great but it was actually decent but also the storytelling was kind of weird in a way and so it's not my cup of tea to watch and so and uh, i don't get nbc so that's kind of an issue in the town that i live in and so yeah so i'm not sure i'm not sure but thanks for the question jody Benjamin, uh, is Lisa Thies the largest of all prehistoric fish? Yes, it is definitely one of them. It actually can get uh, over 60 feet long. And that, can, and that is going to be longer than a megalodon. Is Kulasukas the biggest of all Cretaceous salamanders? I don't know. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, I probably would have to look this up, but I'll message you on... Uh, in the comment section of the Facebook page, just to let you know if, um, of um, what I think about it, uh, is Ap Apiornis the biggest of all prehistoric birds? I think it's a flying bird. If you're actually asking me that, if it is the biggest flying bird, maybe I don't know. I have to look this one up as well, and. Uh, who would win, Utah Raptor or Lythranax? Okay, so you got uh, two theropod dinosaurs that did not live with, live with each other, uh, but they were found in the same state in Utah. So Lythranax lived around, say, 85 million years ago. Utah Raptor lived around 110 million years ago. And so, I, or otherwise 115 million years ago. And so, if these two ever got to me, which... They never did. Uh, I'd probably say Lythronax uh, on this one because even though that Lythron even though that Utah Raptor is like almost half the size of Lythronax, but then you actually kind of see is that like Lythronax is still a bigger animal, still a bigger uh, predatory dinosaur compared to Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor might get in a couple of uh, good slashes uh, onto on length and next, but length and next is just going to be much more heavily muscled and more designed uh, to uh, withstand those attacks from Utah Raptor. And so I'd probably go with length and on this one, but thanks for the question. And uh, that's all the questions I got for you right now uh, for today. And so in three weeks, in three weeks will be a new special episode. There will be not, there will be no new extra episode this month. Uh, that'll be for October since I did two uh, in the previous month, in August, so so the next extra episode will be in October, and so and the reason why I said three weeks that the next episode would happen uh, is because I'm going to take a couple of weeks off from doing uh, doing this channel, um, be, due to the because it's because uh, there is thing called burnout, and like making videos is a, a pretty is, is a pretty daunting process. You know, you gotta do a lot of research. You gotta uh, also like edit and also upload and make sure everybody has response and all that sorts of stuff and like it's it's a lot of work and so uh, I'm going to take a couple weeks off from the channel and so hopefully you guys actually understand that so if you do not see any videos within the next two weeks uh, that's because I'm taking a couple weeks off and so just to let you guys know that 
And so the next uh, episode will be a special episode, and that will be on the 29th of September. And I'll let you guys know uh, the week of that episode is going to air. I'll let you know what kind of prehistoric item I'm going to talk about. And uh, but you can still send me questions uh, throughout that uh, throughout that th- th- throughout the two week offs uh, two weeks that I'm going to be off, uh, and even in the time I am actually going to do the ep- uh, special episode. So feel free to send your questions to me at dinochris seventy one at gmail dot com or as go on the Facebook page Prehistoric Facts at Dinochris. Like the page, you actually post your questions in the comment section. Please put them in the comment section. Don't put them on Messenger. Messages for private conversations. So please put your questions in the comment section, and uh, also for YouTubers out there. Like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and also uh, make sure you share the channel, share the video to anybody who's interested in dinosaurs or another prehistoric life, so that way it helps out the algorithm. And also hit that like button, please. Help that like button, because it actually helps out get more, uh, helps the algorithm and gets more videos uh, out to people that are interested in dinosaurs or another prehistoric life. And uh, also you can stop that notification bell, so that way you can get w- weekly notifications every single video that comes out. And then in this case, with the two, week, uh, time, two weeks that I'm going to be off, you will not see any notifications. Uh, uh, from me, uh, so that then just to let you guys know that. But when it comes, when the show, when the special episode does come up, uh, you'll get notified. And so yeah, so make sure you hit that notification bell uh, so that way you can get notified of every video that comes out. And also, you YouTubers out there, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section because I do read them all. Your questions mean a lot in these Q and A episodes, and you guys bring up some really really good questions. And even the, even in the Facebook page. Uh, and even the emails, you guys really do you know, send me some great questions. And it means a lot for these types of Q&A episodes. So make sure you keep keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Instagram at dino.chris.pf. I'll post pretty cool stuff on there. You can also follow me on Twitter at C-S-G-R-A-L-L. It's my Twitter page. I'll post pretty cool stuff on there as well. Also, take care of the people around you. And also, if you're younger people out there, it makes a list of the parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you could have to get for, for a good education. It's very important to have a good education. with a good education, you get a good job in the future. That's it for now. And I'll see you guys on September 29th.